How old are you? Yeah, you're seven. For Ryan Unum, learning his age is part of a daily routine of intensive behavioral therapy. Since his diagnosis five years ago, Ryan's parents, Lori and Dan, know this treatment has worked wonders. And then you realize how incredibly expensive it is. And if you're like Dan and me, you think, well, thank, at least we have insurance, thank, thank goodness. And then, phew, insurance doesn't pay for it. Cow. Like most parents with autistic children, they found out the hard way. Medical insurance generally doesn't cover autism treatment. And it's expensive. For the 40 hours a week Ryan gets, the bills are seventy to $80,000 a year. That's Lori's entire salary. It's cost that much, and yet I consider us the lucky ones because we have good educations and good jobs, and so we can sacrifice that much money for his therapy. The people that just break my heart are the ones who can't. As a lawyer and a law professor, Lori decided to do something about it to force insurance companies to cover autism. She wrote a bill, lobbied hard, and this summer, Ryan's bill will become Ryan's law in South Carolina. It will provide up to $50,000 per year um, for behavioral therapy through the age of 16, and it prohibits discrimination um, in insurance matters just because of a diagnosis of autism. Thank you. How she did it, how she and other parents went up against one of the most powerful industries in the nation and won, has become legend among parents of autistic children who flocked to seminars to learn from the trailblazers how they could do the same in their own states. The health insurance industry warns that making coverage mandatory is ultimately a bad thing for the public. We oppose the idea of mandates in general because we think in the end what happens is that health care is less affordable and less accessible when mandates are imposed. But we wanted to know why isn't autism treatment covered in the first place? Many of the services that are now being billed or being asked of the health care system are traditionally educational services. And the American Academy of Pediatrics, for example, lists a number of services as educational and lists other services as medical. In some ways, it's a public policy question. Either way, the Unums have fallen through the cracks. Surprisingly, the family behind Ryan's law won't actually benefit from it. Um, Not by this legislation. No, we, and we knew that. We knew that going through it. Dan's company is self-insured. The state law does not apply. They hope one day they will get coverage, but for right now, it's one day at a time, one small gain at a time. So how old are you? How old? Can you tell me? Seven. Oh, Seven. Wow. Good job.